text them. If they don't answer, if they don't answer the second time after I call them, I will leave a voicemail. Once I leave a voicemail, I'll just leave a friendly uh, message, let them know, hi, this is Jocelyn. I just received your inquiry. I'm a licensed agent. I'm looking to assist you. When you get a moment, please feel free to give me a call back at your earliest convenience. And I leave my desk number. It's highly important that you leave your desk number if you have a CRM. If you don't have a CRM, leave your cell phone so that way you don't miss any phone calls. If you have the CRM, it's gonna show you exactly who's calling you. So that way you can address the client by name once they call you. Then if, if they don't answer the second time and I leave them a voicemail, I would try to reach out to them the very next day. So what I'll try to do, I'll try to reach out to them at least twice. Because if you call them in the morning, a lot of people may still be working. They may not be retired. So try to, if you can't, if you miss them in the daytime, try to call them in the evening. And if you miss them, touch base with them the next day. And what I normally do, like the next day, I may send them an email, just, um, just letting them know exactly who I am and how can I assist them. And one second, so one person wanted to know the name of the system. It's called Ringy. That's the name of the CRM. So um, then I take a break from, I would say, from 12.30 for like uh, to one o'clock, I get something to eat, then I'm right back on it. Then I call my second round of clients. If I have anyone that I need to close, I'll put them on my calendar, on my Google calendar. So that way I will keep my day organized so I can know exactly who I'm working with. If I have a follow-up, if a client missed their call, uh, appointment call twice, I have a text message that I would text them. Hey, sorry, look like we missed you. What would be a good day today or tomorrow that we can reschedule? Then if they sh if they's like, oh no, it's not a good day, or they keep beating around the corner. Okay, what day works best for you? So that way you can kind of narrow it down. Don't ever say, okay, I'm available all week. Try to narrow it down as soon as possible. Make it seem like it's high priority. Okay, what would be a good day? Uh, what will be a good time today that we can get your application in? It's highly important that we get this situated for you today. So we got to see if we can get you approved for it. So make it seem like it's something that they can't get approved for. I'm not sure. We got to see if we can get you approved for it. So I would highly recommend to get your application in today. Put some sense of urgency with the clients. Then um, after my second, uh, uh, from I would say from 1 to like 4.30ish, I'll take a call. Then I'll take a break to go pick up my girls from school. So once I pick them up from school, I may hop back on around, like if I have any scheduled appointments, I'll hop back on around, I would say 6.30, I would say 6 to like 7, 7.30 at night. So that way I can get my girls wrapped up for bed or for school the next day. Any other questions? Thank you very much. You're so welcome. How much does Ringy cost? Ringy, the monthly subscription is $99. And with the $99 subscription, you receive, I think you receive 1,000 text message. I think you receive, yes, 1,000 uh, text message credits and 1,000 voice uh, credits. And per state, it's $1 per state. So it's very important, like uh, with Ringy, when I was in the other industry, when I used to sell uh, health insurance, I was one of the top sellers because when I call my clients, a lot of clients will not answer the phone if it's an out of state out of state phone number. But if it's a local number, local presence, they're willing to answer. So I have like 34 states. So I'm going to have 34 different numbers. And you don't need to remember them by heart. So let me give you an example. So when you're on the lead with the client, this is Florida. It's gonna show your call ID right here. So that way you never have to remember your phone number. Even if you're calling the client here, you can pick which number you want them to see on the call ID. So if you have a client that's ghosting you, you can change the call ID to see if they can answer from a different times on uh, different area code. So it's very, very efficient. That's one thing I love about it. Any other questions? Does the um, the leads leads the way at can that automatically send a lead to a CRM? Is that capable? Does it have that capability? That or is do a we very good. Enter in the leads. That is a very good question. I need to figure it out. Uh, I know there's an API code. I know um, the person who who um, 
has the Ringi system. I uh, somewhat know him, so I know you can um, integrate certain CRM systems. So I need to call Senior Life to see once I get a lead to see if I can have it directly ported into here. If not, it's very simple. Is it, let me show you here. So let me go back to my leads tab. You can just create lead and you can plug it in here. And if you purchase any callback leads, Remember, you can upload it in the CSV file. And once you put it in the correct format, all you have to do is just click the call. And I don't want to confuse anyone, so I have disposition codes. So like if, they, uh, if it's an appointment, I can change it to blue to match my Google Calendar. So that's how I keep myself organized. If they miss their appointment, I have this one here. It would change it per, uh, to pink, but it's also gonna automatically text them. Say, hey, it seems like you missed your phone call. If it's a landline, I can, I can, I can label everything, but I don't wanna confuse everyone. I just wanna keep it simple for now. But that's how I keep myself organized. Any other questions? Okay, so you said you can create a CSV file. I get yes. how that happens, but I don't get how you get it from the lead to the way app to the CSV. Um, so with uh, leads the way, so that's why I need to figure out if I can, uh, I'm gonna call home office to see if there's a way they can integrate it with the system. If not, I manually enter my um, leads the way app leads in the system. Gotcha. Okay. Jocelyn, do you only order leads off of Leads the Way or do you order direct mail leads, telemarketing leads and all that as well? Um, so I did um, tell, uh, uh, Sharnetta, uh, did I do uh, direct direct mail leads? I think once or twice. Yes. I, yes, I did do that before and I manually uploaded them in my um, CRM here. And I recently, Sharnetta, I started doing the telesales lead, I mean, the t TV leads, uh, last month, last month or, or July, I started doing it because it was more uh, effective that way. It's because I was trying to think of a way to make it more simple. I was like, it has to be an easier way because I have done it that way and I had to record the call. They couldn't hear it. I'm like, there has to be an easier way. I was like, you know what? Let me, uh, Josh was nice enough to set up my leads the way. And um, Sharnetta and Josh was like, why don't you just put your uh, CRM number on there? I was like, yeah, that makes sense. So that, that's why I have it here. It says accepting calls. So when, uh, when they transfer a lead to me, it's coming directly to my headset and into my CRM. So that way I have my email up. So once I have my email up, I can kind of plug in the information. Then once I'm done with the call, I just mainly go back and upload everything. But it's uh, the most important part here that I wanted everyone to see to make my call let me open, expand this here. This is what keeps me very organized. So when I get a client, I have a template that I already have already uh, pre-filled and I'm going in here and I'm manually entering this information as I'm going through the application. So just in case that app crash, cause I made a mistake when I first started I made a mistake and clicked on something else in the application. Like if I was going through the application, I made a mistake and clicked on under construction by accident. And if you don't get so far into the application, you lost everything. I was like, Lord, I have to figure out an easier way. So I was like, you know what? Let me think outside the box and what made me successful before in the past. So I was like, let me create this uh, template. And that way I will keep everything organized. So that way, just in case it crashes, you're like, okay, so I just want to re-verify re the information before we go over the recording and you have everything directly in front of you. And you can put this on either on the notepad. This, this is, I'm um, using a Mac system, iOS system. So this is my notepad here. So you can put it here, or if you have, uh, if you're using Windows, you can use the little sticky notes and you can create it and just automatically pre-fill it. Any other questions? Johnson, do you have copies of the template you can share with us? Which, uh, which template? This one, this one here? So all of them. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me uh, show you this. Uh, I can share this format. And you, can, and you guys can put it in your own format, whichever is easier. So I'm going to paste it in the chat. So that way you guys can see how I do it here. And another thing that's real quick, too. So I'm going to delete it so you guys can see. 
you can, uh, it's called um, short codes. So if I type a set amount of characters, it's gonna automatically pre-fill this information for me. So let me show you here. So if I go into this, say this was a client and I wanna put their information in here, I'm just gonna type in the same key letters and it's gonna pre-fill this template for me. And all I have to do is just save it. How do you set up the short codes? The, with, with Mac, it's easier with Mac. I'm going to show you guys this. I can schedule another training for that. So with Mac, it's keyboard. Then you go to text replacement. So you go to text. And here are all my short codes. So I have codes for everything. So if I uh, key in a couple of words, a couple of letters is going to spit out these words for me. And for people for non-Mac users, I have something called text blaze. And text blaze, you can you can do the same way. You can do it the same way. You can, and you can create a, you can log into it and you can have your codes the same way. So I have it in two, two separate formats. And these are all my text short codes. Like if it's a new lead, and you can add it to your Chrome extension as well. So there's two two different ways. I haven't used this one in a while. So this is um this is um mostly from my previous industry. I have to change everything. So for from health to life insurance, but it's really simple. I just have to switch up the word the verbiage on it. And these were just my state numbers because I had a state number for each state. So like if I'm typing them, like if I'm te texting a client and I don't remember my state number, I just put Nevada number and it'll automatically spit out my Nevada number. But I don't want to confuse everyone. I just want everyone to see the uh, CRM system and, and the importance of it. Any other questions? I do. Um, what's the name of the CRM? I'm, I'm sorry, I came in late. No, no, no worries. It's called Ringy. Ringy? Okay. Mm -hmm. And does it have a dialer on it? Yes, it sure does. Here's the dialer here you can see. So you can uh, you can copy and paste the client's phone number. Then once you then you just press click to call. Okay. And then whatever and if you want to change your call ID, like say for instance you're calling someone in Georgia, you just scroll down, you click on your Georgia number, and you click call, and it's going to show a Georgia call ID. Okay. Okay. And is there a fee for for ringing? Say it again. What's the, what's the fees for ringing? Yes, it's $99 for the monthly subscription, which will give you 1,000 text messages and 1,000 voice calls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for each state number, it renews every month and it's $1 per state number. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's many different ones out there too. So if you guys find, as long as you find something that can keep you organized, so that way your follow-up game is strong. So that way you can follow up with your clients. You can put your notes in there. You can put how much you quoted them. And I would highly recommend to have a sales tracker sheet too as well. So not only do I have everything here, I also have a sales tracker as well. Any other questions? Jocelyn, it's Benita. So you do not use the iPad at all. You strictly use your laptop and your two monitors? That is correct. Okay. And reason being, um, my nails are too long. So when I type on the iPad screen, I'm clicking on my fingers are um, big anyway. So when I try to type, I'm, I move slow. So I'm like, you know what? I, I'm used to sitting behind the screen mm -hmm. and I have my keyboard. I'm not sure if you guys can see. This is my setup, if you guys can see my setup here. So I have my keyboard here and my mouse and my laptop is docked behind my screens. So that way I can be efficient throughout the day. Okay, I have another question. For someone yes. just starting out with the telesales, trying to get organized, can I just use the iPad and a laptop? Yes, you sure can, whichever is easier. I mean, I prefer to have monitors, but, you know, expense-wise. Yes. Whatever you can start off with. When I first started, I had I didn't have any screens. I only had my laptop. 
and it was difficult. I'm like, I was all over the place trying to do the screen share, trying to move it out of the way, not sure if they can see it. So later on, I had one screen. I was like, you know what? I, I was, when I used to work in health insurance, I mean, not health insurance, um, home and auto insurance, I had two screens. I said, like, let me use that same thought process and have my two screens. So I have, and I'm using that same formula, have my telesales app here, have my underwriting guide, have my script on one side, and that way I can just flow through everything easily. So that way, if I need something, I can hurry up and pull up my folders on my desktop and I have everything organized. Well, starting off, if you have your iPad, whatever is easier and the simplest way for you to get through the application, stick with it. And later on, you can add and enhance your setup later. Okay. So you said you use a MacBook though, which is also an iOS um, Apple product, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So are you able to download the Slice app on that as well? Yes. Um, yes, on the on Slice app, I've just logged into the portal here. So as you can see here, you can just log into it. And on my laptop, I'm on my phone, I have the Slice app and on my iPad, I do have it. So if I'm out and about and my iPad is there and it's accessible, I will do an application from my lab, from my iPad if I need to. I've done plenty of applications on my iPad. It's just easier for me with my headset, but with my iPad, like if it's just like, a, if it's a follow-up call and I already have everything saved and I have to go through, um, just go through the recordings and everything, I have my AirPods and I just connect it to my iPad and I do the application the same way. So you do not have the Slice app per, per se on your Mac? Not on you the actually actual, use the telesales? The telesales. On the Mac, there's no, not on the Mac itself, but on my iOS, like my iPad and my iPhone, yes. But on the Mac, I just use the, I just use the telesales app. That is correct. And with the headset, the headset is connected to my output. So I have my little dongle piece. And with that dongle piece, it can pick up my record and it can hear the client. So everything is in sync into it. So let me click here. Where is it? Oh, let me click here. So you can see here, it's, it's connected to my Jabra link. This is the dongle. This is what's gonna make it Bluetooth. So it can pick up your conversation. And that's how can I that's how I complete complete the application and they can hear the recording and that way you don't have to worry about if senior life is not gonna hear the recording, the client is gonna pick up everything for you. Because on my iPad, I had the, my phone on speaker and my iPad there trying to pick up the recording and they couldn't hear it. So that's why I was like, you know, what? I have to think of a better way because I had to redo a couple of recordings because they can hear bits and pieces of the, of the client. So I had to redo the whole recording and that could be frustrating. So that's why I said, you know what, let me think outside the box and see what can I do to keep it all on one platform to make it seamlessly. So that way they don't have to, I don't have to have them redo the application two or three times. Because I had one client, they got the first part, but for the legacy portion, for some reason they couldn't get it, so I had to redo it twice. And the customer was not too happy. She was really sweet, but she was like, "I have to do it again," and that could be very frustrating. Hey, um, so I wanted to ask: so do you actually have two separate monitors, or is it just two things going on? on one monitor? Um, I actually have two separate monitors. You may see uh, two additional monitors in the back. I have a separate laptop, but my mouse um, actually corroded on my other uh, laptop. So I just have two monitors in front of me, as you guys can see, just two monitors. And my laptop is docked behind it. And I have my keyboard and my, my mouse. So that's all I'm using. Gotcha. Yeah, that's my older laptop. So I got a new laptop back in 2019. And when I used to go into the office, I had the same exact setup at the office. So I just brought everything home when I separated from that company. So I just docked everything here. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, guys?
no more questions. I guess that's everything. Charnet, are you there? Absolutely, absolutely. I think awesome. this call was really amazing. I just want to stop and say thank you so much just for so just welcome. really going in some insight today. From what I got today is how, how structured you are. And I know what telesales is, we know it's about discipline, structured, keeping up with your business. And then also knowing that this is the only thing you're doing is working from home. You're not going yes. out in the field. And there's a lot of agents that want that. So I'm really excited for you to be growing and to have joined us and actually able to really teach other people. So before we go on and end this call, I know we talked about having a couple of sessions. Yes. Um, if you want, you can go on and definitely introduce them, introduce them to that platform that we having for those individuals that will be working with you personally on your cello sales platform. Um, and I know we just hired about seven more today that are so excited today alone awesome. to really join your organization and your agency. So I'm excited, but again, if you can go on and give some insight on that, and then of course, um, maybe I guess before you end the call, just telling us as a new agent, you know, what it's going to take for them to be um, successful on your platform. Yes. So thank you again, Charnetta. I just want to thank you, tell you thank you again. So yes, for any new agents coming on. So what I would recommend, the first thing that the equipment that you would need, if you have an iPad, start off with your iPad. If you have Bluetooth, if you don't have anything, just have your iPad and your cell phone. Let's make it work until you can get extra devices to keep yourself more sufficient. But if that's all you have, let's make it work. Don't worry about, you don't have everything. Don't worry about my setup because my setup may not be for everyone. Some people may be fine just working off their, their laptop or their iPad. Whatever works for you, do not change it. If it works great, keep it there. So I would recommend just to be consistent, to start off just to make sure you have everything in one folder. So that way it's easy and it's accessible. So if you need to ask any questions, instead of shuffling through papers, so that way you can sound more professional, have all your important information for senior life in one folder, one platform. So that way it can be easy. And also then from there, once you have your, your have a great attitude, smile and dial. That's my favorite line. Smile. A smile goes a very long way. If someone is having a rough day and they get on the phone and you're smiling with them, you can change that person's mindset just with a smile and just keep them engaged and just close the call. Just be very informative, be very polite, be very courteous when you're on the phone with the clients. And also your headset, your phone, laptop, let me see, and and just your underwriting guide, your scripts, just have everything accessible. If you, if you don't have your screens, print it out, put it in a folder. So that way the script is just to keep you organized, to get you flown through the script, get you going through the application. And it's gonna become secondary and it's just gonna flow naturally. Just have, a, just have everything in place, just have a routine in place. The more organized and structured you are, the easier, the more efficient you're going to be, the more consistent you're going to be. So with me, what keep me consistent, my key is consistency, consistency, consistency. Just keep everything consistent. And that way you can keep yourself organized and that way you can be professional. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of guys, uh, th this happened to me in the past, sold someone, the client called me back. I have no idea where I put their information. So, so that's why I say it's extremely important. If you have the Google calendar, it's free. It's free. You can put, put the client's information in there, their phone number, their name. And the reason why I put their, their client's information in there, what if you're in the car, you just have to close it on your iPad, make it easy for yourself to close the sale, make it easy. As you can see here, I have the client's phone number on your phone. You can have Google calendar. Once you have the calendar on your phone, you can click to call from your calendar. Let me show you guys. So if I click here, it's gonna highlight it. If you guys can see, all I have to do, is just click on the client's phone number and it's gonna dial straight from my cell phone. If you have the CRM, even with Ringy, there's an app on here on my phone, Ringy. I can call straight from the application. But if you don't have a CRM system, have the Google Calendar. It's free and that way you can stay organized. And after I'm done with all my clients, you don't have to do it, but you can just attach a copy of the application to it. So that way you know exactly what you've done, what you sold that client and just keep yourself organized.
So now, Sharnetta, we just have to come up with a time for the next training. Okay, so when are you actually available? I mean, you know what we'll do? How about this? Since it was so amazing, and I know that we just put a lot of information on them, I know we're starting next week. So yes. what I'll do is we'll touch base, me and you, after the call, and then we'll yes. just announce it for next week. And I'm probably probably Monday, since everybody's so enticed to really join that platform as they're going to see you live dialing, yes. and, and you're actually engaging with them to help them. So it's most likely it's going to be Monday. Let's figure out a schedule that works best for you and your family, and then make sure that we're being mindful of your time. So we'll definitely uh, touch awesome. base about that after the call and then we'll go ahead and announce it by next week. And thank you, Lynn, thank you again, once again. Does anybody else have any You're other so questions before she goes on and ends this call? Now, Jocelyn, I have a question here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your script, is this a script that you came up with or, or whose script is it? Which script? your presentation script no a senior life script so a senior life script but you can make it your own so i'm 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 come i'm i've been in sales since 2001 so i have over 20 years of experience in sales so i take the senior life script and you just spin off of it flow with your personality so i already have the senior life script down packed and i just tweak it a little bit which fit what fits my personality I think we had a question here. I was going to try and go through it. It says, I just bought an iPad so I can be consistent. I'm writing for business cards to come in. I will employ um, Ringy to figure out how I can make it my own. Absolutely. Yes. I think that was for uh, Edie Love. And so, yeah, she's excited to get going as well. And yes, I have Ringy on my This is great. Um, this was iPad. great information. I have Ringy on my iPad and I have the, um, the Slice app on my iPad as well. So yes, it will work perfectly fine. Because if I'm in, if I'm on the go and I left my laptop at home, I have my iPad on me. So I, you can. One thing I love about the telesales and the Slice app, you can start an application, save it, and just go back to under construction. You can pick up exactly where you left off. So it's seamless. So you can transfer from one device to the next, which makes it very simple. So I love that Slice app and the telesales app since they intertwine with each other. What's your phone number? Yes, let me put it in the chat. I just put it in the chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, does anybody else have any other questions for tonight's call? All right. Jocelyn, once again, thank you so much. I think thank everyone you. is really starstruck with all the information that we wasn't aware of. You know, some of the um, like ringy, you know, how to actually keep up with this. You're right. A lot of new agents that are coming in are trying to figure out how to keep up with their business, how to police their business. We say this before they have you under arrest. So I think this is amazing. Yes. Nuggets. <laughs> I, know, I know it's going to be something that's um, continuously learning, especially new agents that are coming on board. I think it's a phenomenal platform. I definitely look forward to um, working with you personally next week as well. Really learning from myself. Yes. So, you know, and the numbers, like I said, documentation, this conversation, conversation. Is over 900,000. You're absolutely right. 900,000 in a year solely doing telesales. So thank you so much for everything you do. We look forward to speaking to you next week. And if anybody doesn't have anything else, we're going to go in and end this call. If you have anything, I'd um, like to hear those last words and let's go on in this call. Thank you so much again. Thank yeah. you. you. Thank you, everyone. You you are the best. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very Thank much. You very Appreciate much. it. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to working with everyone. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.